Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is February 10, 2023, and we celebrate the memorial of Saint Scholastica Virgin. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree. In the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God's. Who know what is good and what is evil? The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her. And he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened. And they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together. And made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden, at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God. Among the trees of the garden. Responsorial Psalm Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away. Whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt. In whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledge my sin to you. My guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord. And you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you. In time of stress, though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter, from distress you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Alleluia, Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Mark Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Reflection Nobody is excluded from the healing touch of God. This man is doubly afflicted, being a foreigner he suffers isolation and is also excluded by his physical impairment. Jesus' action initiates a new age. He doesn't heal from a distance. He comes close enough to touch us, one by one. He indeed does all things well. Lord, I hear your words to me, be open. Unblock my ears that I may listen to your word. Open the door of my heart that I may grow in sensitivity to the suffering of others. Liberate my tongue so that I may speak in gratitude of your loving kindness.